Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, let's look at the lithium. What's going on for the last 24 hours? We see um, the chart just actually for the last three hours, I want to say, or five hours. It went from a dollar ten to dollar fifty, and I guess this probably affecting with the news of uh, Ant Miner AL. AL1, that's 15.6 terahash. So this is crazy. Uh, right now it shows on top of the list, obviously, and it's $700 a day after power, <laughs> even after power, my 18 cents uh, power cost. So it's 3,500 watts. So it's a power hungry unit. So we we'll need to be really extra careful on that unit if the power um i mean if the hash rate of the network gonna go up as crazy let's see where it is actually now let me see where we at with the lithium so that's the casper by the way the casper uh keep on growing rapidly network hash rate so on the lithium we are at still at one peta hash 1.3 peta hash which still not too bad, but uh, it is it is growing up. Let's let me look at the lithium uh, miner stats here. I like that site a little bit better. Let's see, it just takes a little while to update, uh, but yeah. So the hero miner still at the fifty six percent here. Uh, so it's unfortunately taken over the network by a lot the f2 pool for casper taken a little bit closer to 50 percent now 44 percent but still a little bit out so let's look at the lithium um network hash rate for the last let's say last three days not being changed anything so really just there at around 1.3 from one beta hash it just being hovering there uh, for a little bit but it does increase so Looks like even the lithium miners uh, been popular and maybe gold shell AL box. So AL box uh, at 360 watt doing 720 giga hash now. And uh, it's it's a little better number two box. So it's it's been running at double hash rate for uh, double power, which is still efficient, but it does perform a little better. So it's like you're buying two of the units. Anyways, that's just want to throw it out that uh, out there that if you get in that out box, uh, the profitability gonna drop really quickly after this AL1 15 terahash unit gonna come out. It's just insane how crazy that unit. Uh, I wonder what's the efficiency uh, of this unit. Let's compare. Let's. It's pretty much 10 times uh, of the power, right? So it's 7.2 terahash. So it's double. It is going to be double efficient unit. Um, so obviously two of these miners will not be as efficient. Uh, and the network hash rate probably going to kill a lot of that uh, by the time they come out. So it's probably uh, factory or whoever gets there going to pre-mine a lot of that uh, lithium coins. And I'm not sure how that's going to affect the, the, um, the actual price. But I guess right now the news is spreading. So the price of a lithium quickly going up and then may drop after the unit is going to pop out there. I don't know. Anyways, just want to throw it out. Um, you guys have a good day. I'm uh, working on the upgrading my firmware of the KS5Ls. And after I will run a good test, I'll update you. So stay tuned for the video of the KS5L uh, overclocking and we'll go over that. But this is just a video for A. L1 uh, ant, anti -mine, ant miner bitman. So the bitman unit, they're probably in use all over. Let's check it out uh, real quick. Yeah, so there is a bunch of the stuff on the Twitter, probably the spot sale. It says a spot sale of on the bitman. I don't even, uh, it's a July budget, so it should be now, but it's 30. What? 30,000 after coupon. So this machine it's insanely uh, insanely uh, expensive, 29,000, but we've seen KS um 3 I think when it came out it also was like about $40,000 when it was doing a lot probably mm, maybe 
well, I don't remember, we have to go back in time, but I think it was doing like 500 a day uh, at that point. So, yeah, it looks like it's all around those numbers. So, just careful with that machine, because uh, if the network cash rate is going to go up, that's obviously not going to get probably $700. It's probably going to drop quickly to about $100, $150, but still have to do a really careful calculation because the unit fluctuate the coin um a lithium coin fluctuate a lot so anyways we'll see how it goes on that um minor 15 terahash obviously it's 225 joule per terahash so really efficient unit now it's going to be uh most efficient for a lithium mining all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.